What's up everyone and welcome to FAQ number 94 You remember me talking about my thumb being sprained uh, last FAQ? Well, same week as I recorded that FAQ, I also recorded a bunch of other videos uh, I did a carcass tone video and you know chugging And you know, it hurt like hell So I thought like, hey, maybe I should go see a doctor Went to see a doctor and it seems that uh, I have a fracture in my thumb And uh, I'm supposed to rest for 6 to 8 weeks which sucks fortunate for me I don't need a cast I explained to my doctor that you know I'm a mediocre guitar player and uh, I would rather not have a cast on the finger so I'm getting uh, some sort of support later today so yeah I've been playing uh, guitar uh, recording videos playing gang beats with my discord friends with a broken thumb awesome sucks that I won't be able to play guitar and uh, yeah also have you ever tried wiping your ass with your left hand? It's not pleasant. Feels like someone else is doing it. Having a fracture in my thumb sucks. All right, let's just go on with the questions. Positive Ola is not positive today. Ugh. Tom Cook. Yo, Ola, what's your favorite type of Swedish food? Please don't say Swedish fish. What I like about Swedish food is that it's very simple. We're very big on potatoes and uh, like meatballs or a piece of meat and then vegetables like peas and stuff like that and then maybe a gravy or something like that that's a really good Swedish dish just like regular Swedish meatballs but uh, I think what I enjoy the most is basically the traditional holiday uh, food which is like the traditional hot food I would say that you have at, uh, at Easter and Christmas it's basically like Prince Korv and meatballs and potatoes and meatballs I don't know what it is but it you know brings back memories from when I was a kid eating meatballs and Prince Corp Swedish word they Prince Corp little uh, small wiener just like mine Daniel D hey Ola I love your Master of the Universe album I have a question what gear was used for the making of Cerberus love the work you do like, big fan greetings from Germany yeah don't have the guitar here but I recorded the, the Cerberus track on my A1.7 uh, artist guitar and uh, but for the Floyd Rose because there's a Floyd solo on it I recorded it on another guitar that's not here a black A1.6 with a Floyd that's the good thing about having solar guitars you know, can, can you switch them all about and they all have Duncan Solar pickups so it sounds about the same I can just switch back and forth in between songs not an issue for the tone I have a couple of videos of this if you're a member of my channel I show you how I mixed Master of the Universe and what, what plugins I was using and, and so on but uh, for the rhythm tone because of time and uh, convenience I use the Fortin NTS plugin for my rhythm tone and I use an Easy Mix 2 plugin for my lead tone using the Ola Epic lead that was a part of the Guitar Gods pack that I was a part of with uh, TuneTrack so yeah it was really simple mainly because I didn't have that much time reamping and all that and just wanted to finish the album so I used plugins and I think it sounds kick-ass uh, for the next album maybe I should do reamping I'm not sure thank you so much positive Ola Hector Rov 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 that's ass in Swedish by the way uh, but with an uh hey Ola what's happening between you and Randall are you still working with them love your content have fun thank you okay so maybe you haven't noticed but I haven't used the Randall Satan in a while or I haven't really used any Randall amps in a while except the Dimebag amps that I have and while I still love the Randall Satan I'm not working with Randall anymore not sure if they're still selling the amplifiers uh, I think they're trying to phase them out but basically I left uh, and it goes more in the vein of what I'm trying to accomplish with myself and my brand is to not be endorsed by anyone I don't know my own brand solarguitars.com <laughs> I love the Randall Satan I still play it still loved all, everything we did with Mike Ford and all that but for me it doesn't make sense to have a signature amplifier you know there's so many amplifiers that I love and, uh, and play and I want to be able to use whatever I want basically and uh, but I still love my Satans I still have them somewhere so there's no real mystery or uh, beef regarding me leaving Randall it just goes more in line with what I'm doing basically which is you know back in the day 
I would love to have a signature deal, you know, guitar or an amplifier or a pedal or something like that, but I'm just not interested anymore in that. So yeah, that's that. But the amplifier still kicks ass, and now if you get one, they're probably a little bit more rare because you can't get them new. But I have to look it up before I post this video, otherwise uh, I screwed up, probably. <laughs> Luca Grassi Music. Hi Ola, I know it's not your favorite kind of Mel, but what do you think of your countrymen, Sabaton, of their music and how they put a lot of patriotism in it, their Swedish flag painted bass and the album Carol's Rex, for example. Cheers! By the way, you just got a baritone A and it's great. Thank you so much, Luca. Um, to be honest, I'm not really into Sabaton, but I haven't really listened to them at all. I mean, I see they're friggin' huge. And, uh, you know, they even have their own festivals, they have their own Sabaton Air, which is basically like Slipknot, you know, Knot Fest or whatever. And, uh, dude, they're f huge. They're really big right now, and, you know, I think it's good. It's like a tourist attraction about Sweden. I don't mind seeing a little bit of patriotism in Sweden. Uh, I think the music and metal is uh, a little bit too mainstream for me. I'm not really into folk type of metal. It's too dance-worthy. You know, I'm just, I'm not talking about Sabaton in particular, I'm talking about folk music, it's like... It's like, uh, it's not my thing. <laughs> Ola's depiction of folk music, by the way. LB Flieger, Power Stone Wars, great shit Ola. Question, which is better, a clean boost or overdrive pedal? Cheers from Washington State. Great question, and uh, I think people might not know the difference between a clean boost and an overdrive, but basically a clean boost gives you a clean volume uh, increase, while a gain basically drives up the tone, so they work a little bit different. If you see it on this one, for instance, I just had this one. Oh, Patronism Ola. I got this from Gearman, Gearman Gear Dude. Uh, I haven't tried it yet, but I will. I will. It's a German, by the way, and he made a Swedish-looking pedal. And uh, don't call me a racist for showing this. It's just a pedal. Take it easy. All you haters out there, chill. It's okay. It's a Swedish flag. It's okay. Usually an overdrive looks like this. It has a drive, a tone, and a volume knob. Obviously the drive is working as a crusher, basically, for gain. So it basically overdrives the sound. And uh, a clean boost does not have the drive. It only has a volume knob or an EQ, for instance. There's a couple of different ways to use overdrives, and the way I use them, and a lot of people in the metal scene are using it, is basically to have the drive at almost zero, and just use the volume at max to push a preamp of an amplifier, you know, to get it more saturated and to sound more kick-ass. A lot of blues guys, they use the overdrives just to, you know, make it a little bit dirty, you know, when they're, they're playing their dirty leads. And uh, if you just want to boost your amplifier, I think a clean boost is enough. Uh, if you want to add a little bit of grittiness and, you know, a little bit more saturation than uh, just using a volume, you can always use the drive as, a, as an extra increase. I usually do that. I set the volume to max, drive at zero, tone to like one o'clock maybe. And then, you know, if that's not enough, you can always use the drive a little bit, just like do the extra little push there. So there you go. Did I answer the question? Not sure. 665, Neighbor of the Beast. Hey Ola, E3 just passed. Are there any games that were announced that you're looking forward to? Mine is Final Fantasy VIII Remaster. I, I see what you did there. Uh, it was not Final Fantasy VIII, it was Final Fantasy VII. And yes, I'm definitely stoked about that. It's being released next year. But I'm also stoked about a sequel to Breath of the Wild with Zelda. I'm also stoked about uh, Link's Awakening, which is a remake of the Zelda game for... Uh, for a uh, Game Boy. And uh, other than that, I think Cyberpunk, obviously, very, very excited about that. Doom Eternal, Witcher 3 for Switch. Holy shit. I'm looking forward to that a lot. And you know why it's awesome that Witcher is coming to Switch? Even though it's shitty graphics, I don't fing care. You know, when you're out there uh, flying for 14 hours straight, playing games is the best way to just make the time pass quicker, basically. Witcher 3, uh, I think I spent over 200 hours on my PC playing Witcher and uh, I can definitely see myself playing 200 hours on Switch as well. Nina, hi Ola, how do you remember so many riffs and solos? If I don't play sometimes for a while, I forget it. I need to relearn. Am I just an idiot? Or would you by any chance have a tip for that? Uh, no. Yes, you are an idiot. But that's okay, because I'm an idiot too. 
I have to constantly relearn songs and solos You know, if there's a break between tours or festivals that are like 3 months or 4 months I definitely need to relearn some of the solos that I'm playing It's not just you It's us other morons as well So, you don't have to feel lonely I'm with you I have to relearn stuff all the time That's why I make the tab books basically But then I also sell them So I can earn some money as well <laughs> But the tab books I make, they're great for me to just Check like, oh, how did I play the solo? Ah, oh, shit, okay And I kind of surprised myself Holy shit, that's actually kind of cool way of playing it Kevin Devos, hi Ola, do you regret listening to certain bands back in the day because they slowed down your progress as a guitar player? For example, I started playing guitar because of Blink-182 20 years later, I'm still stuck with power chords and palm mutes I still laugh with farts and burps <laughs> Well, that's actually a legit question Personally, I don't think I regret, you know, spending time or wasting time as you claim it with a band I mean, whatever I've been listening to has somewhat got me to the point where I am today Personally, I enjoy the simplicity of some bands that I listen to Even though I listen to Dream Theater These simpler bands, they inspire me in a different way that Dream Theater would never be able to do And I think it's very important to be able to listen to all sorts of music because all types of music has something to offer for everyone No, I don't think I regret anything And if you listen to Blink-182, I mean I guess you enjoyed listening to Blink-182 back when you were young Was that a waste of time? You felt good listening to it Why would it be a waste of time? Just saying Grot Runka Oh Jerking off while crying, great G Dearest Ola, as you know, on 29th of October 1993 Music was forever changed with the release of Swedish Didi's Ace of Base Design Do you remember where you were that fateful day? And in what ways does this magnum opus still affect your daily life? Oh, amazing This is a definite throwback and I actually had this conversation on Discord with my Discord friends We basically talked about 90s techno We all got exposed to 90s techno uh, either if we wanted it or not, you just have to listen to it because it was on the radio all the time And uh, Ace of Base The Sign Great song by the way I saw the sign And I'd open up my eyes I saw the sign Demonetized Shit, okay, I should not sing like that Rebar 77 Hola buddy sir I was going through some older FAQs and came across an episode where you mentioned Busse That really tore me up man, I'm so sorry I know you have a cat or two but have you thought about a puppy for the kids, if not yourself? Rest in peace, Bosse. Oh, I really appreciate it, thank you so much uh, Yes, uh, me and my wife had a dog uh, A miniature bull terrier called Bosse And uh, we had to put him down because he was really sick And he got an eye infection and all that And he had a bad heart and it was just a A mixture of a lot of bad things So we decided to put him down uh, for the best uh, I... <laughs> That's the thing, like, I think it was, I, I hope it was the best for my dog And I think I, I, I think I made the right choice You know, at that time I felt like I took it so hard That day, I said that I would probably never get a dog again Because it just tore me apart I love that dog so much And you know, their lifespan is so short I, I don't think I would be able to, uh, to, to experience that again But, you know, as the years has gone by I'm opening up to the thought of getting another dog Because I mean, even though I'm sad when they, <laughs> they leave life And you know, I'm just thinking also about all the love that they give when they're alive And you know, be able to have a dog in my kid's life I think it would enrich them and uh, our family basically But if I get a dog, I also want to spend time with it So I don't want to do it when I'm out traveling You know, doing all the tours and whatnot But it is calming down on the tour uh, spectrum So maybe We'll just have to see Thank you so much for the question By the way Ola tasting shit Alright, Ola tasting shit I'm gonna taste some water Hmm I'm trying out A Pop-Tart This is a frosted chocolate chip You're supposed to put it in the toaster And uh, Yeah, I've never tried this Oh doesn't look that bad actually By the way, this is the segment where I try Eating shit that I've never eaten before I know, right? What happened to you man? You're on the new low You used to be cool But now you're not Okay, I need power, obviously It used to be all about the music, but now man 
All right, let's wait. While I'm waiting for my pop tart, there's something dividing my audience on YouTube. And I noticed the hashtags. So I'm going to ask you a straight up question. Hashtag team cart or hashtag ditch the cart? Very serious question. Vote on Discord. Become a member. That was lame. You're supposed to jump up, you little pop tart. How do I. Oh, f hell, it's stuck. How do I. I guess pop tarts are not made for Swedish toasters. How do I. Oh, no. Oh, I got. No, no, no. Ah! That was real. How the f I solve this? Fork. I heard a fork is a great idea to use in a toaster, but I can't go because I'm stuck to the microphone. So I'll just use a pencil instead. Okay. Great content, Ola. Good job. Good job. Good job, man. Okay. I hope this is worth it, okay? So now it's all hot and shit. So here you go. All the taste and shit. Mmm. Actually, not that bad. Wow. That's a solid 6 out of 10. That was good, actually. There you go. Ola trying a Pop Tart. First time. Maybe that can give me a headline at Mel Sucks. J Stormer used to think Ola as a cool dude until he started playing his whole pay crap way too much. Hope it doesn't get so bad I end up having to unsubscribe and get my friends to do the same. By the way, have you heard about my YouTube membership thing? You, you can become a member and you get a lot of extra content from me. And you can also be a part of my Discord channel and server. Yeah, I should probably stop, to be honest. You know what else I should stop? I should stop not hanging with my Discord friends over at my Discord server. Hey, what's up, buddy? I'm just lying. I don't have any Discord up here. <laughs> just remember that this is optional. You don't have to pay. I'm still doing my videos, okay? Warhead TV. The only problem I have with the membership is that you have to pay for a free service just for some extra channels that aren't the general chat and a voice chat. I think you missed a point here. The YouTube membership thing it's not only Discord. The Discord thing is one perk. The other perks are, you know, the monthly live streams, the extra content, the mixing videos and all that. Now I'm plugging myself again. Shit! But I'm just trying to explain. The Discord thing is something extra just to make... A, it's basically a community for my YouTube members. And it's become a really awesome thing. You know, I decide what I use my Discord for. And I thought it would be a good portal and community for my members because the YouTube portal is not good enough. So Discord has really helped me out to create a really awesome and, and sick community with people. So there you go. It's a really good way for me to interact with my YouTube members. You know, being a member is optional. You're still getting the same stuff from me on my YouTube channel, like always. I'm still uploading the same content. It's just like if you want the extra shit and bullshit that happens behind the scenes, then there's an option for that, okay? Thank you. Anna Hootman, Ohio loves you, but you're still a f dork. <laughs> Savage Whammon, what's up with that? Shit. Roy Rodriguez, Ola used to be genuine. He's become more commercial. He has great. Ugh, f me, man. It's just way too many comments like this. Shit, I need to chill the f down, I think. So much negativity. Brad Mitchell, I would pay to be Ola friend. There you go. Thank you so much, Brad. See you later on Discord. All right, that was actually the last question. I'm trying to keep it a little bit short here because my thumb hurts and I need to go to the doctor. But guys, thank you so much for watching my FAQ. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm kind of like half and half on vacation right now because my kids are out of school. I'm trying to like work really effective. That's why I'm in the apartment. Then I go to the house and be with my kids and my family. But you're still getting the videos. Unfortunately, I won't be able to record any new ones with playing guitar for a while uh, until my thumb heals up. But I still have a lot of videos in store, so there will still be videos coming these coming weeks. So you don't have to worry about that. I'm just a little bit worried about how it's going to go for me. <laughs> and I want to play guitar, but you know, I can only do legato right now. You know, I can't do any chugs, which hurts my heart. It hurts my heart that I can't play chugs. 
I need my chugs. I need a chug. <laughs>